<laughs> you had asked a question at Crown Tournament, I believe it was. At St. Or St. Allegis, I apologize. Judith Bass Rabbi Mendel, you have a question to respond to. All assemble, the mighty and the meek, pray, mark the passage of Mistress Judith Bass Rabbi Mendel, Order of the Laurel, Order of the Silver Crescent, Order of the Monch, Order of the Silver Tower, Order of the Ivory Tower, Order of the Bronze Tower, former Seneschal of Setmore Swamp, wisest among the sage, most judicious of the just, most esteemed of the worthy. Sir Jonathan Maz, I will speak for this candidate. When I speak to your Shavalov attributes, I am of course speaking to the ones reimagined in the Victorian era, and of course, when I say Victorian, I mean spacemen from the future. <laughs> ah, this is so easy. <laughs> when you were Seneschal and I was Baron of Setmore Swamp, a victim came forth of an mundane assault, and it was you alone who went to mundane court with that victim, so that they would not have to face their attacker alone. If that is not chivalry, what is? Thank you. Is there a member of the Order of the Laurel who will speak for Mr. Student? I, Doyen Pagan Graham, have that honor. <clears throat> and I thank you very much for doing this today. I could speak of many things when I look at and think of Judith. Passion, dedication, curiosity, all of the attributes that the Laurel hold dear. But mostly I think of science, the way that she brings all of the pieces of her puzzle together experimenting one thing after another, after another, after another, to make certain that she understands the correct way it should be done. No one inspires me as you do. Your Majesties, Your Highnesses, people of the East, I'm not going to say that Judith is my peer. I am going to say that someday I hope to be her peer. I, Orlando de Sforza, Baron of Setmore Swamp and Master of Defense, do request that privilege. It is stoicism of that I would speak this day. It is stoicism that sees the warrior through the most brutal battles, but that pales in comparison to the public service of the seneschal enduring the slings and arrows of a fickle populace. It is with such stoicism that Judith has put in her time and helped the needy and serviced those with grievances. She endured all the toils and troubles with a serene countenance. So do we all endure the cold, so I will cur curtail my praise for Judith to recommend her most highly for this honor. Populous, the extent of Judith. No one at all, but the Mistress Judith Boss Rabbi Mendel is most worthy to be welcomed to the Order of the Pelican. She is generous, helpful, courteous, 
in all that she does throughout the SCA. The instructor is just always willing to share her knowledge and her expertise and to encourage others in their research and artistic efforts. She has very generously given up her time and talent to the culinary community throughout the kingdom. I know of many instances where she has tutored and encouraged other chefs as well as lend, lending her skills to produce exceptional food. As a seneschal, she served with excellence, grace, and kindness. I recommend Mistress Judith most enthusiastically to the assembled peers and know that she will be an exemplary member of any order that she has. I wish to see the members of the Order of the Pelican. Shaka Balat, 
Mistress of our own house, now a mistress of the laurel crown, once mistress of one order, now mistress of two. We, Muhammad the king, and Karatika the queen, elevate her to the order of the pelican before the eyes of our people. Today, on the 25th day of Marqueshvan, in the 57th year of our society, by the count we reckon here in rusted woodlands. Uh, wordsmithing in Hebrew and translation into the English by Abdullah ibn Harun al Qutubi. The tray was done by Mistress Emma Makulmat. And the calligraphy was by uh, Alexei Dimitri. Alexei Dimitri. Thank you. For Mistress Judith. Vivas! Vivas! 